Am I the Askinoff for not watching my newborn niece for two weeks while her parents visit Italy? My brother Kevin's wife, Casey, just had a baby. Now they're badgering the family because they have a two-week vacation planned to Italy in four months. Hold up. My brother's wife's my brother Kevin's wife, Casey, just had a baby. Now they're badgering the family because they have a two-week vacation planned to Italy in four months. Why the f*** would you plan a trip to Italy four months after having a f baby? You've known about the baby for at least nine months. What? I explained to my brother that a baby doesn't just magically appear. I feel like they had plenty of time to either reschedule or cancel this trip. Also, two weeks is a very long time to leave a baby. I'm not watching the baby even in shifts between our parents or Casey's parents. And my mom said that she's also not watching a baby for two weeks straight. And I feel like Casey's family said the same thing. My brother acts like his wife deserves this vacation because she just had a baby. And all she looked forward to during the pregnancy was her trip to Italy. The f I told my brother that his wife's priorities seem up, so I suggest you guys drop the baby in one of those safe haven drop boxes at the fire station because Casey is going to be in for a lifetime of disappointment because of her choices. My brother called me an asshole. I asked him why the f*** did he have a baby in the first place if they didn't want it? Am I the Askinaut? No, you're not the Askinaut. This poor f kid. All she looked forward to the entire pregnancy was her trip to Italy? Well, okay. That makes you really shitty. Like, ask on one, you're the worst of the worst. What? And now they've had the baby, and they're like, oh, we gotta find a sitter, because now we had the baby. Um, being willing to is one thing. It being the only thing you're looking forward to is a whole nother thing. This is not a PPD conversation, because this was premeditated. They've had this scheduled. She, this is this was the only thing that she was looking forward to through her pregnancy. And maybe, maybe like rewarding yourself for doing something really big and scary. Like, I understand that. It can't be something that harms the thing that is really big and scary that you're taking on, like a baby. You can't neglect your duty as a parent to reward yourself for becoming a parent. There's nothing to reward yourself for if you just ignore the duties. All kinds of duties. No, si she stepped right in the duties. And I'm talking about you're going to have the diaper duties and your duties just generally as a parent. What are you rewarding yourself for? For the first day of being a parent to be the worst, shittiest parent there ever was? Cool. I don't think they give trips to Italy for that. I think they give trips to other places for that. I think y'all are about to do some really stupid shit that's going to land you in all kinds of hot water. And the safe box that he's talking about at fire stations, it's a real thing. We have them here. I just recently learned and was shocked. But I get it. I get it. There's a need for that. And this might be the right, the right time for them to do such a thing. As painful as that is to even imagine. Why? No. This is your baby. You guys created this baby. You guys had this baby. Now you will take care of this baby until it's a toddler and then until it's a young adolescent. And then even when it's an adult, this is going to be your baby. You cannot run. And if you do, as many parents do, you're shit. So why would you be, why would that be your goal right now? Why would the goal during your pregnancy to be a shitty parent? I don't understand. Dr. Sweets, I remember there was a time the fire station had to tell parents to stop dropping off their teens. They're like, we don't make safe boxes that big. You can't drop your teenagers off. Man, it is, yeah, it's terrible for the kid because he, now, yeah, this kid is immediately born just unwanted. And <laughs> if this continues, if this behavior continues, this child is going to have all kinds of issues. Like, literally no one wants me because symbolically, grandma won't take me in. Because she refuses to bail out my mom and dad who clearly don't want me. Like there's the amount of damage they're doing right now to this child is unacceptable. I just don't understand. I don't understand any of this. How could they end up deciding that this is what they wanted to do? How they still believe it? How they're carrying it out? I don't, I don't understand what is going on in their heads. I don't understand how she would be like, yes, this is, this is going to be my reward. But OP, 
Of course, no, you're not the asshole for not watching your newborn niece for two weeks while her parents visit Italy. On principle, standing this ground and saying, hell no, you are going to watch your own baby instead of going to Italy, you idiots. Um, 100% agree with that. Of course, in the back of my mind, I'm like, if nobody says yes and they end up just, I don't know. I, I worry about the kid. Of course, I worry about the kid. It's the only person who, in this story who can't make their own decisions. Uh, but they're garbage. Your, your brother for going along with this, he arranged this for her because he said it was, she was looking forward to this. I, you know, I don't know if he has just adapted the thinking here and he thinks this is also the right thing, or he just knows if he doesn't give her a trip to Italy, his life is going to be hell. And I'm kind of leaning in that direction, but her needing this is, is the red flag. Like there needs to be, there needs to be therapy here because where she's at right now is, is not just not okay. It's unsafe. It is unsafe. It's concerning. Dr. Sweets, I mean, I don't have kids, but couldn't they wait till the baby was one and plan a family trip? That's true. Yeah, yeah. And he was how old? Tipsy Thunder took a two-month-old, uh, her two-month-old, to Disney. It's not hard. You're a parent now. Get used to it. You used to toting that kid everywhere. Everywhere. Even when you're just running into Target for two minutes to grab something, you bring the kid with you. <laughs> 